all these people waiting in line for a couple of winners. Vegas, we have a layover like four hours or so. So we'll play slots in the airport so we win big. So then we can then convert the money to euros. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waking up. It's taking forever. We can convert the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Convert. That's it. That's it. Here we go. Guys, we are in Vegas waiting for our next leg of our trip, but of course, we must go to any airport lounge we can get into. <laughs> Trying to get my luxury card, but the priority pass. That's how you get in. Yes. So here we are at trying to go get some food. What is it called? An everything bag? No, it's called a never full. Wow. Yeah. It's Mary think, Poppins bag. I need to talk about for a minute like how we approach things when we're eating places. Immediately looking at macros, we're like, where's the protein first? Like, well, wait, how much sugar's in it? How many carbs? Is it high fat? We chose this place called Rachel's. It says they have hormone free grilled chicken, natural. So the options are pretty good. You gotta look closer to make sure that what you're getting, if you get that, and it's like you either decide you're not gonna eat the crackers, but you eat the fruit, and it's whole foods, the chicken looks good, or yeah, this looks pretty good. albacore tuna salad is probably what I'm gonna get. This it's good it's just the meat, or this chicken salad. But what kind of mayo do they mix in? Probably regular. This chicken looks, looks really good though. Hummus. That does look pretty good. Note to self, always grab from the back because it's more fresh. All right, here's good. So for dessert, we're going to do a calorie-free session of gambling for the first time. I've never been gambling before, so... But I'm pretty lucky. If we win big, we'll give a portion of it to charity. We did it first here. But we'll keep the remainder. <laughs> from traveling so long. <laughs> it's um, 2.30 p.m. and uh, the first leg of our travel has been to Vegas. <laughs> we were only in Vegas. We were on like a, a 25 minute flight to Vegas. And we left at, like, well not 25 minutes, but it's pretty short. But we left at like um, 9.30 a.m. is San Diego time. And we still have to go to Manchester. And Manchester. Then we have to go to Milan. So, it's not very efficient, if you ask me. That's what we get for booking our trip the same week. Yeah, trip. last minute was our choice. That's what it is. Good night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Manchester, England, obviously. And uh, that's fine and all. We were supposed to connect here. But an airline called Thomas Cook was really late. And apparently they're always late. We know this because when we missed our flight just now and tried to get a new one, um, they pretty much like laughed behind the counter. And then we went to another counter to check our luggage in. They laughed about it too. So apparently this airline is the worst. So don't ever we're take like, it. We had to buy a new ticket, and they're like, "Well, what airline were you on?" We're like, "Thomas Cook." They're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was we went San Diego to Las Vegas, then Vegas to Manchester was like over a half hour late, and the connection was way too small. So in reality, this website called Kiwi.com made them way too close together. You had to check your baggage with each airline. Don't ever do that, by the way. Never. The only reason why we did this is because with my line of work with modeling is like super last minute and I had no choice but to book things late and the price was already high to begin with, so mm -hmm. is what it is. I thought we, we could pull we it off. We booked it like, what, two days ago? Yeah, so, so gives you an idea. But, um, so now we got new tickets and um, that was like 630 something dollars. Um, so I just wrote the Kiwi website to try to get that refunded, so we'll see what happens, fingers crossed. Uh, we used Skyscanner to get the tickets, but it went through Kiwi. So anyways, just trying to pass that on to you Less to, to not, yeah, don't do that. Don't ever have to like get your bags and recheck them because... Yeah, it's, it's too much risk. <laughs> Only if it's a really big layover and you know that you got like, ample time. Um, so now... Oh, and then, so oh, we're, yeah. so wait. <laughs> Take that. Well, so we're trying to make our connection, right? We're like, well, maybe we'll make it, maybe it's late. So we're running with our suitcases, which took 30 minutes for us to pick up. Mm -hmm. So like our flight's taking off at this point. We're yeah, like, it smells maybe... like cigarettes everywhere because everyone in Europe smokes. Mm -hmm. So we're like running from one terminal to the next with our luggage. The pavement's all bumpy. Oh, my God. And then... You take a digger. Yeah, I, I biffed it and like... Her, her wheel catches on the front of her main suitcase and then tumbles over and she falls over. I and fell over my suitcase and everyone stopped. They're like, oh, you okay? I'm like, oh, yes, I'm fine. Don't look at me. Yeah. And then... Yeah, so then we get all the way over there just to find out we have to come all the way back. And then we go, okay, well, we'll kill time because I have this luxury card and it's awesome because we can get into the airport lounges and relax, right? Well, we go to scan through security, they're like, oh, you can't come in, it's too early, you can't come too through, early. security won't let you through, so we're just standing, standing out here waiting. Standing on the street corner. And you gotta keep in mind, we have not slept. We left San Diego at 9.30 a.m., but think about the time difference getting over to Europe, so didn't sleep on the flight, tried really hard, that was like a, how, how many hours was that flight? Nine hours? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's been over 24 hours of travel, yeah. because right now, and now this new flight is way later in the day. It's at night. It's at night. Yeah. So we got a lot of time to kill. And but we, we connected need Munich. Yeah. And we just tried to eat something, but there's nothing over here according to the airport people. They said, just just wait it out until you can get through security. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Could be worse, but it still kind of sucks. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. Hopefully tonight. That's my mm -hmm. Or we lose the money on the room we already paid for. I feel like we're on the amazing race right now. That's yeah. how it is. Seems like I described it really boring. I'm just tired. I hope this was interesting. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, 
oh, and then the airline didn't even have water. Oh, yeah. We were like, can we get some water? Why is it only <laughs> in the around. U.S. that you can get water regularly? I mean, is there a shortage of water in, like, Everywhere the else. U.K.? I mean, I get it in certain third world countries. It's more difficult, but we're talking about... She came around United with a Kingdom. drink cart. And, and I, she said, what would you like to drink? And I said, water. And she said, oh, we don't have water. And I was like... I had to go to the back of the water? plane and use my credit card to buy water. I was like, she didn't pick Thomas Cook, don't do it. Don't ever fly with them. The worst. So, custom... Print boarding pass. So we yeah, finally no. got from mm -hmm. Manchester to Munich. Print for all customers, eins. But we're not going to Milan. Okay. The flights are all Ooh, delayed, so they rebooked so us for tomorrow morning. They have a hotel for us. <laughs> but we just tried to pick up our luggage and it wasn't there. And now we so now hotel we're trying to find our luggage yeah. first before we even do any of that. This is by far the worst <laughs> luck ever. Everything that has gone wrong. Mm. <laughs> How not to travel? I just want to be in Italy. <laughs> I oh. want to eat the food. I just want to be at our hotel. Yeah, that'll be nice. Really nice. Our, our flight tomorrow though is pretty early, so it's going to be a quick turnover. And what do we have here? All these people waiting in line for pickled wieners. <laughs> Even has the weird <laughs> head. <laughs> I'll take 12. So. We just found the ultimate chairs. These should be at every airport. Everyone will be in a better mood. Mm -hmm. Anytime you have a layover or just you get to the airport early, you want to relax. It's such a simple solution. There's thin plastic. So ergonomic though. It's amazing. See? It's a lay down. Automobiles. Get me so we are on the train from the Milan airport to get to our hotel and you hear this strange beeping and here we thought maybe it's the back. This is Changed our clothes, we brush our teeth. Yeah, I feel like we a feel human. Like humans. Yeah. 